Hello Sumo fans and welcome to another Road to Glory, Sumo's Ironman Tamawashi Ichiro. What an amazing September Basho for Sumo's Ironman, who secured his second new show, setting more records while at it. Between becoming the oldest Makuchi wrestler to be awarded a special prize, making the total four, oldest man to gain a Kimboshi Gold Star victory over a Yokozuna to make seven in total there, prolonging his long unbroken streak on the clay as he has technically not missed a bout in his career to date and has the longest streak of consecutive matches among active wrestlers, now at 37 years old and 10 months, becomes the oldest man to ever receive the Emperor's Cup in the new era with his second Yusho. He won his first top division championship at the age of 34. The actual oldest in the history of Sumo to win a Makuchi championship was Sumo's 22nd Yokozuna, Tachiyama Minemon, in the summer of 1911, when he was 38 years and 9 months old. But for our very own answer to a Marvel superhero, and despite others, nipping at his heels the whole way like Hokoto Fuji, Takeyasu and some few young rising stars after him, he held firm and stayed stoic and proved why he has the name the Iron Man of Sumo. Making sure age can just be a number on the clay with the right approach, his thrusting Oshi style Sumo was near perfect this whole tournament. He more than earned and deserved this one so let me take you on Tamawashi's road to glory for his second Yusho. Tamawashi, born 16th of November 1984 in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. In his youth in Mongolia, he was working towards a career in the hotel industry, but was encouraged to go to Japan by his sister who was studying there. On a visit to see his sister in Japan, they went to the Rio Goku, where Tokyo's official tournaments are held. They happened to wander by Izutsu stable and had a chance meeting with up-and-coming Mongolian star, ex-Yokozuna Kakeru. They talked and Kakeru put him in touch with former senior Mongolian sumo wrestler Kyoko Shuzan. Through this connection, he was recruited by former Sekiwaki Tama no Fuji and joined Kataonami stable in January of 2004. Making steady progress through the lower divisions, recording only one Makikoshi, more losses than wins, on the way to the third highest Makushta division in May 2005, he went up and down the division until taking the championship in September 2007 with a perfect 7-0 record, which sent him up to the ranks of Makushta 2. A 4-3 record in the next tournament was enough to earn him promotion to the elite Sekitori ranks for the January 2008 tournament. After producing four consecutive Kachikoshi, more wins and losses scores in the Juryo division, Sumo's Iron Man made his debut in the top Makuchi division in the September of 2008. A 4-11 record sent him back to Juryo, but a 10-5 score in November returned him immediately to Makuchi. His first winning score in the top division in March 2009 saw him at his highest rank to that date of Maigashira 8 in the May 2009 tournament. However, he could only manage a 5-10 score at Maigashira 11 in July and was demoted back to Juryo. He responded in typical determined Tamawashi style by taking the Juryo Championship with an 11-4 record in the September, which returned him immediately to the top division. In the November of 2009, he produced his best top division score so far of 10-5, which saw him promoted to a career high of Maigashira 7. Another catchy Koshi score of 8-7 in 2010 January saw him promoted to the new high rank of Maigashira 4. He, however, unable to defeat any of the Sanyaku opponents he had, slipped back to Maigashira 14 in July 2010. He responded with scores of 10-5 and 9-6 in the next two tournaments, earning him promotion back to Maigashira 3. Tamawashi defeated at the time Ozeki Haramafuji in January 2011, his first victory over in Ozeki, but finished with a 5-10. The tournament ended on what was considered an embarrassing note for him when he injured his right arm by leaning against and breaking the window of a restaurant in Tokyo. Yup, that was smart eh, Sumo fans? 
Lena Sumo Tori on a pane of glass. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad he made it out without looking like he just fought a tiger. <laughs> the injury did not affect his participation in the next tournament, however. After recording four consecutive Makikoshi losing records, he dropped back down to Juryo again in January 2012. He made another immediate return to Makuchi in the March tournament, slowly morphing into a yo-yo wrestler at this point, because he was up and down, up and down for another couple of years. As he fell back and rose from Juryo on two further occasions from this, in September 2012 and May 2013, for the next few years, he managed enough wins in tournaments to remain a fixture in the middle ranks of Makuchi. Tamawashi made it back to Komusubi rank in November 2016 and produced a career-best performance as he recorded 10 wins, including another victory over Harima Fuji and wins over three of the four Ozeki at the time. He was rewarded with his first special prize for technique, becoming the first wrestler since Asashoru in 2001 to win his first special prize while ranked in Sanyaku and was promoted to a career high of Sekiwaki. The 77 career tournaments it took him to reach Sekiwaki is only the fifth slowest in sumo history. Few say sumo's Iron Man on that one at least. On the final day of the tournament in July 2018, Tamawashi caught up to Yoshi Azuma and will go forward holding the record for most consecutive matches by an active wrestler. The record was duly passed in September, but a poor 4-11 score saw him drop back to the Maegashira ranks. He rebounded with a 9-6 in November. In January 2019, Tamawashi made a solid start with three wins in his first five matches before embarking on an impressive win streak. Having already defeated the three Ozeki, he took a share of the lead by beating Hakuho in day 12. He began the final day with one win ahead of Takekesho and secured his first top division championship with a Suki Otoshi win over Endo. At 34, he became the second oldest first-time Yushu winner since the six tournaments per year system began in 1958, after Kyoko Tenho in 2012, of course. Since the retirement of Koto Shigiku in November 2020, he has been the oldest man in the top division. In May 2022, he overtook Takemiyama to reach fourth place in the all-time list of consecutive career bouts with 1,426. But a few months later in September tournament, he reached 1,457, passing former Sekiwaki Takotariki for third on the all-time list. Tamawashi's consecutive match streak reached 1,448 before he was forced to withdraw from the July 2022 tournament on day 13 due to COVID-19 infections breaking out and one breaking out at his hair. But the Sumo Association did not regard an enforced quarantine as breaking a run of consecutive appearances as it is no fault of the wrestler. And so, Tamawashi was expected to be allowed to continue his streak in the next tournament, of which he was. In 2022, Tamawashi earned three consecutive kimboshis by defeating Yokozuna Terunofuji in the January, March, then the May tournaments. He is the first wrestler to earn a kimboshi against the same Yokozuna in three straight tournaments since 1965. Starting strong and only slipping up against the two Waka brothers, Wakataka Kage and Wakamoto Haru of Arashi Obea, barreling through everyone else, including the Yokozuna, on his way to a 13-2 Yusho victory, and as I've stated multiple times, now becoming the oldest Sekitori to win the top division championship in the modern era. At the age of 37 years and 10 months, and taking a wee Shokun Show outstanding performance prize to boot. Sumo's Iron Man is not only tremendous at what he does, he is awe-inspiring in his approach to life and Sumo. Quite old by sumo standards and never missing a day at work in 20 years is something 99% of us will never achieve and must be commended. Being a sumo legend by day and a dad and star baker by night, balancing being a father of two with holding his own on the clay with all these young dogs snapping at his heels. So raise a glass or a cupcake to sumo's Iron Man Tamawashi the embodiment of what a Seki Tori should be. And guys, that's it for this installment of The Road to Glory. 
thank you for watching and remember sumo fans like subscribe hit that bell oh what a nugget